Hello everyone, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. Today we're going to be talking about conditional formatting in Excel. This is a very powerful technique to be able to show uh, information in a more graphic way and show the good things, the bad things maybe about the sales performance of your uh, company. And so for instance here we have by region, north, south, east, west, this year revenue and last year our revenue. And we want to make the comparison with a year-on-year -year growth. Obviously positive, great, negative, not so great. But how can we show uh, these percentages in a more meaningful way? Uh, we use conditional formatting. So the way we do this, we just select one cell that we are interested in. We go here in Home, Conditional Formatting, you click on here and then we select highlight cell rules and in this particular case greater than. As you can see there's a number of different options throughout the conditional formatting function. Today is an introduction so we'll focus on the basics. So we'll select greater than and then we'll put 0% and we want to fill it in. As you can see is already Excel has already done the formatting for you. I want to change it to green, be more positive. Uh, green fill with dark green text. As you can see you can choose different versions, uh, different ways of formatting. You also custom formatting. I'll use one of the predefined formatting options just for ease of uh, showing you in this video. And here you go. Also, I want to show, just in case the number is negative, a different kind of formatting. So I want to show it um, um, red, say for instance. So we'll go and do the same thing, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules less than 0%, it will be green. Obviously this number is above 0%, so it doesn't show in red. What we'll do, we'll copy this cell and then we'll paste onto the other cells and we'll go into Paste Special and you want to select Formats. In this way it will select, it will paste the um, conditional formatting and as you can see minus 25% and minus 33% appear now in red text with a red background and the 33% appears in green text, green background. So as you can see this is already a better way of showing the information about the sales performance of your team, of your company, uh, because uh, it's much easier to spot the, uh, the good numbers and the bad numbers by adding some color to the cells. What we'll do next is we'll just show you what um, what you can do, if you change your mind about um, the conditional formatting, what you can do, you click on conditional formatting again and you go to manage rules. This will bring up all the formulas that are currently applied to the current selection, so those these cells here. And as you can see there is the, the conditional formatting that we set up originally in E7, which is the 20%, and then the other ones that we copied. We could quite easily just uh, remove these two, the E7, and then just modify this to become E7 to E10. But as you can see you can modify, uh, add rules, edit rules, or delete rules here. So you can change everything that you already set up. If you want to um, delete the rules, you click on it, as you can see it's highlighted and then you delete it. Same for the other one and the other one and the other one. You click OK and as you can see you turn back to the original cells. Now there's many more ways of showing the information. I just want to show you another one which is very useful. Is um, just instead of um, selecting two different ways of um, formatting the cell, you can use a scale. So again you go into conditional formatting 
and then you go down to color scales and as you can see there's many options there's many options already there's many more rules and you can literally change your uh, formatting in whichever way is suitable for you but what this does and I'll select this one here it selects it, it sort of formats these cells depending on a scale that goes from the top plus 33 percent to the bottom minus 33 percent and the coloring of the other cells is a proportion of the, the, the range so from uh, minus 25 to plus 33 so in this way you can not only uh, show that uh, a value is in your view positive or negative uh, all or nothing but you can also show the degree uh, that is positive or negative and this again is a very powerful um, uh, technique especially when you have a large number of uh, numbers of percentages etc to see to show that the range how the range fluctuates so again this is conditional formatting color scales another example is say for instance if you have this year revenue you want to show it in uh, with regards to a target say for instance the target for all regions was seven million dollars in revenue and you want to show that the ones that have achieved the target, the ones that haven't achieved the target. Again, you go to conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules, you go greater than. And here, instead of putting a number as we did before, we can select a cell. So you click on there and you click on the cell. As you can see, it sort of selects it, hard codes it, C13, and from now on, it will fill it and I'll, again I'll choose green so as you can see it's positive I will add another conditional formatting which is in this case less than again I select the cell C13 and this time I fill it red as you can see obviously this doesn't do anything in red because it's a positive but look if we copy and then paste special right click space paste special format you can see that the six has been now be uh, is highlighted as uh, lower than um, as a less than the target and the west again the four less than the target so obviously this is very powerful because it, say if the target was um, five this immediately changes your conditional formatting because each cell the conditional formatting of each cell is hard-coded and linked to the cell C13 so whichever target you put in there the conditional formatting will change so for instance say 15 nobody achieved the target they're all in red so again this is very very powerful and the last one I want to show you is a um, a conditional formatting based on an average of a range of values again let's select the range of this year revenue the sales and we go to conditional formatting top bottom rules again there's many but I will show you above average I will fill it with green okay and as you can see the two they are above the average of this range are um, now green I will show you if we put below average so we're adding another rule and this time I'll make them red and as you can see now the above average are green the below average are red and again if you want to have a look what rules are present you go to manage rules and these are the rules one thing that to uh, make sure you realize is that these rules as it says here are applied in the order shown so for instance if the Excel goes through the rules and first looks at uh, whether the value is below average if it is it applies the formatting if it's not it goes then to the next rule and applies the next rule and the formatting if it true one thing you can do 
for whatever reason you might want to choose that if this rule is uh, true then you don't want to do consider any more conditional formatting so you can stop the conditional formatting so in summary conditional formatting is a really powerful way of showing the information that you have in a more effective way using colors formats etc 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 depending on the values of uh, the cells and the rules that you apply to those cells.